Alright, um, someone on YouTube has asked me how to set up a uh, HPOG HP, HD PVR. And this is it right here. Um, it's rather light. Um, I'm not going to go over the ports and, so and stuff. I'm just going to show you how to set it up. Alright. Um, well, first, you got your power cable. Um, I wouldn't recommend changing the power cable as it can ruin the machine. That goes into the DC in right here. And then this part would go into the wall. Um, now moving on to uh, next input would be, I mean output would be uh, this. It's a firewire to USB port or plug, I should say. Um, this goes into this port right there, and then this part would go into your computer, and you'd use the software that came with the HAPOG to um, record gameplay. Um, next, you're going to have your um, cable. This is uh, for your PlayStation. Um, five cables. You can also go with the three that there that are in the front, or you can go with S video. Um, this is your component. You can go with composite or S video. Um, this side would go into your PS3. This would go into the input slot, which is the bottom row. And make sure you get them put in the correct slots. Uh, there's two um, sound ports and or plugs and three uh, video plugs um, and they're color coded um, next is the wire that comes with the uh, unit itself this is a um, component cable uh, male on both sides. It goes into the output set uh, part and then one side would go into your monitor or TV. Um, if you don't have a monitor or TV with um, component slots or composite slots, I don't know how you'd be able to set this up unless you used S-Video. Um, is also optical in, um, optical for surround sound and um, the IR blaster for a remote control. Um, well, basically, when you have this all um, set up and plugged in, you're going to want to press the power button, which will turn it on, um, and you're going to want to go into the software on your computer and check the uh, inputs for it. Um, if you don't know how to set up the software, I'm sure there are plenty of videos online. Um, so, um, when you're in your system, all you have to do is go to the video output settings and just change it. The highest resolution for this is 1080i which I would recommend either going to 720p or just keeping it at 1080i if you're fine with that. If you don't know what that is, I'm not going to explain it in this video. You can watch another video. I'll leave like a link in the description or something to another video. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to connect it to an Xbox or uh, I think Wii... Well, I know you can connect it to Wii, but... Um, yeah, original Xbox, Xbox, and PS3, you're going to want to get one of these. This is kind of overkill if all you have is just one system, but if you have more than one system, I would recommend getting one of these. Um, if you get a brass or gold-plated, um, uh, 
leads or whatever. Supposedly they send information over faster or whatever. I haven't really seen any difference, but um, this would go into your Xbox 360, this one would go into your Xbox, and this one would go into your PS3. Um, then on this side, you have two audio cables and four video cables. Um, yeah, alright. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, thanks for watching.